Oh boy, this is a good one. Mexico dust off. Plan B is Trump revs up threats. <clears throat> revs up threats to kill NAFTA. <laughs> you go, Prez. Mexico City. This comes from Reuters. Mexico sees a serious risk. The United States will finally withdraw from NAFTA as preparing plan for that eventually economy minister whatever this dude's name is said on Tuesday calling talks to renegotiate the deal a roller coaster yep the president wants a better deal US President Donald Trump has threatened three times in the past week to abandon the North American free trade agreement revised in his view that the United States would probably have to start a process of existing to court to search the fair deal for his country. You go, Prez. Trump has vowed to get a better deal for American workers and the likely rhetoric on both sides precedes a second round of talks starting on Friday in Mexico City, negotiating the 1994 Accord binding the United States, Mexico, and Canada. It's not going to be easy, <clears throat> Gordo said at the meeting with senators in Mexico City. The start of the talks is like a roller coaster. The need for a backup plan in case Trump shreds the deal under pinning a trillion dollar in annual trade. In North America has been a long-standing position for Gurdo, who travels to Washington on Tuesday with Foreign Minister Luis Van Gray to meet senior White House and trade officials. We are also analyzing this scenario with the new NAFTA, Gurdo said in the interview published earlier. On Tuesday in Mexican Business Daily, the El Economist Gordo said there is a risk and it's high that the Trump administration abandoned NAFTA. Responding to Gordo's comments, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said his government would continue to work seriously to improve NAFTA. Earlier this month, Geraldo told Reuters a plan B meant being prepared to replace items such as billions of dollars in grain in Mexico imports from the United States annually to end and to seek openings and more markets. Mexico is hosting trade talks with Brazil this week. Trade officials are also discussing a possible replacement for the Trans-Pacific Partnership Trade Pact that Trump ditched after taking office. <laughs> Who needs Mexico anyhow? Overlapping with the NAFTA talks, Mexico will participate in separate trade meetings with Australia, New Zealand, and Peru, and President Pinyanito travels to China this weekend. These attempts at diversity trade will not be easy. Some 80% of all Mexican exports go to the United States and economies such as Brazil, China often compete with Mexico. Yeah, Mexico, you ain't the only ones we can get stuff from. Also suggest World Trade Organization tariffs that would kick in if NAFTA crumbled would be more favorable for Mexico, a view held by many Mexican exports who think trade with the United States would survive the demise of the 1994 deal. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference in terms of the trading relationship, said Andreas from us from Mexican Deputy Foreign Ministers, if we have to go to WTO tariffs for us, it's fairly straightforward. Gordo's ambitious trip 
to Washington was announced after Trump not only threatened to pull out of the trade deal, but again said that Mexico would end up paying for the wall he wants to build between the two countries. Mexico has refused point blank to pay for a wall in January after similar comment, comments that Mexico to scrape a summit with Trump. The two sides agreed not to talk in public about it. You know, come on, who needs Mexico? That's all I got to say. Who needs Mexico? What do we need from Mexico that we can't, that we already don't have here in the United States of America? That's where most of our companies went to anyhow was Mexico and I believe if Trump does away with NAFTA and says to heck with Mexico and plus he has to worry about Canada you know I'd say to heck with it because that's what hurt our economy let them go let Mexico and Canada go. You know, Canada? Yeah, lumber. <laughs> you know, but they kill us in prices and stuff like that. They've never given us fair deals. It'd be nice to get fair deals and stuff like that and have a contract with Mexico and, and Canada. But if you cannot get a fair shake from either one of these countries to heck with them let them go cut them loose they'll find out once the United States is out of NAFTA they'll find out that they lost a pretty good chunk of money if we leave NAFTA but if they can work out a deal to where our people make good money and our companies make good money and they're fair trading and stuff like that that would not be bad at all but if they can't do away with NAFTA well, like I said a few seconds ago that's where most of our companies and stuff went to was Mexico they need to come back to the United States is what they need to do and I think if we do away with NAFTA a lot of those companies would come back to the United States because NAFTA is hurting the economy I do believe you know they need us just as much as we need them you know and if they can't come up with a good deal for the United States then I say let them go you know, let them go. You know, because if it's going to hurt our economy and you and the people of the United States wind up paying more for goods from that comes in from Canada and, and Mexico, I sure in the world wouldn't want to pay more. So, let them go. You know, you go, Mr. President, make those deals. You're the deal maker. You're a businessman. You ain't a you ain't a politician. This should be right up your line of work of making deals and stuff like that so comment on this like it subscribe to my channel people the patriot news channel until next time this is terry